Hello there, I'm Malika and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to go over a few items that are important to have on hand as a foot model and I'll go over exactly why these are enticing to those foot lovers. I'm going to go over socks, pantyhose, flats, flip-flops, and heels today. And what you'll notice is that there's a lot of overlap between each one of these items and a lot of what they like about one thing is what another person likes about the other thing. So there's going to be a little bit of repetitiveness, but each of them has something special for those types of fans. The first item that's popular to have on hand when you are making content for foot lovers is white socks. Now the most popular sock is the white ankle sock. These ones are low cut socks and these are also very popular. Now an honorable mention that goes along with socks are sneakers. You can have any type of sneakers, but the Converse sneakers are definitely the most popular and most requested type of sneaker. The socks and sneaker content is all about a sensory experience. Just like I talked about in my last video, engaging all five senses, this is really popular when you're dealing with socks and sneakers because it's all about not just the look, where you can see the feet kind of underneath the socks, but it's also about the smell and about the touch, the feel of the socks against the skin, the sweat that might be pooling, so it might be a little damp. It can also be about the taste, but another fun part of socks and sneakers is the removal process. You can make a whole video or photo shoot with just the removal process of the sneakers to the socks to the bare feet. Start with those sneakers and do a very slow reveal of the sock. Your socks can be dirty. They can be a little wet from sweat. All of that plays into that sensory experience with the socks and they like to hear how much they smell, how pungent they are. So talk about that a lot. And then you go to the sock removal. Do it nice and slow. This can be a photo. This can be a photo showing a little bit of the toes that came off too quickly, but you see what I'm saying, just a little tease. Each one of those are photos and then do the smell. So these are a great item to have on hand for foot lovers. Next up are the nylons and pantyhose. Now, just like the socks, this is a very sensory experience, but it actually brings in more than the socks does because there's another element of the pantyhose. That sound right there. It's a little bit of ASMR for nylons when you're crossing and uncrossing your legs. That is another element that's fun to add into your clips because they really enjoy that sound. Now the most popular pantyhose are the skin tone pantyhose without the reinforced toes. And the most popular nylons, at least in my experience, these are not rules, this is just what I have experienced so far, are the black nylons with reinforced toes or it's really about 50-50 with the reinforced or not. Most of them are sheer anyways, so it doesn't really matter that much. Now, just like with the socks, a lot of it has to do with the smell. A lot of the times you are removing heels or even flats and showing off your nylons, but with these ones, you don't usually take them off. It's all about the smell between the toes and the look of being able to see your, your soles and your toes underneath those nylons. It's kind of like, veiled feet. And I will say that nylons are more popular request than pantyhose most of the time. So if you're going to get some, go to the Dollar Tree and pick up the nylons that they have for one dollar. And show off all those popular foot poses that I showed you in Foot Poses Part 1. The next item that you should have on hand are flats. Now these, just like the socks and nylons, have a lot to do with smell. Because as you can imagine, when your feet are all covered in shoes, they tend to get sweaty, especially if you're in warmer states like Florida, like I am. So a lot of it has to do with smell and the sight of the sweat and even the toe prints on the insides of the shoes. So you can take the shoes off and show the camera, get it nice and close to show the toe prints or the sweat and then talk about how sweaty your feet are. Now flats, they tend to go along with a theme, which is usually the MILF roles, if you know what I mean, the boss, the teacher, that type of roles, because it's a more modest look. Your feet are very covered, but there's also other fun elements that go along with flats, and I'll show you in just a second. What you'll notice with the flats is that you can still see my toes. That is called toe cleavage, and that is a very popular look with flats. These are my most requested flats, and I believe it's because they're simple looking, they're cute, and they show a lot of toe cleavage 
and they show a lot of the arch, which is also very popular to show off when you're showing off flats. Flats are also fun for dangling content, but the next two items that I'm going to show you are all about dangling. And first up, our heels. And that right there, that is called a soul slap. That is a very popular request, especially with mule heels. The second most popular requested heel is probably the strappy heels, ones that have just the strap over here and usually an ankle strap so that you can remove the ankle strap and dangle, usually to do this sound right here. But these are probably the most popular and it's because they are just a classic black pump. These go with everything and they look fantastic on. So people that usually have a heels fetish usually prefer these types of shoes right here. Now heels are all about that classy look. Usually guys that like heels don't even like to see feet without heels on. They have a thing for the shoes and the way the foot looks in the shoes. It's just a beautiful feminine look and that's what those guys like to see. It's all about femininity and dangling, and a lot of the times it's even about the smell inside the shoe, especially with a black pump like this that is covering your whole foot, and at the end of a long work day when you're the boss or the CEO of a company, your feet are probably sore and tired and sweaty, and when you get to take these off, there's a beautiful smell, and she's ready to have her feet massaged after a long day. So that is the type of content that you can focus on when you're talking about heels or showing off your heels content. And last, but certainly not least, is the flip-flop. This is just a classic warm weather look. And along with the dangling and the sole slapping sound, you also get the foot being almost completely exposed, but also being a little jeweled with the flip-flops going in between the toe. That is a fun look. That is also why this shoe in particular is the most popular request that I get. It's the wedge flip-flop, which is far more popular for me than flat flip-flops, but it also has the jewels in the middle and it's shiny. I think it's just more beautiful between the toes and that's why it gets requested the most. But of course, the sole slapping is very popular, but another fun aspect of the flip-flops is the toe prints. Now these particular pair do not get toe prints because they aren't that leather or foam bottom, but the ones that do have the leather and foam, of course, you're wearing them in warmer weather, so your feet are sweating and they get the toe prints, and that's another fun thing to show off when you're doing flip-flop content. And that is it, you guys. Those are all the most popular things that you should have on hand for those foot fans. As you noticed, a lot of it has to do with so many different senses, from the sight of it, the smell of it, the taste of it even, and even the sound of it from the sole slapping to the pantyhose rubbing together. There's so many senses that you can add in to entice those foot fans with the items that you have on hand. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so you can see more content on how to be a successful foot model.